Tip Squad, welcome back guys. Guess what? We're back again. We're down here at Daytona. I just pulled in probably about 20 minutes ago. I made it down here. I'm over at the Speedway currently. Y'all know I'm here to do a panel. I'm excited about this. Well, I just met some amazing subscribers just now all the way from Boston. I can't wait to mingle and meet the rest of you guys here. I gotta get up here real quick. It's currently 1235, but we are gonna go ahead and take a look around to see what's going on, y'all. When they say don't put your heated gear or directly on your skin. <laughs> See that? I didn't scratch that one. I was like, why am I burning? Yeah. So don't wear your heated gear directly on your skin. I should have known better. But I, it was just on a whim. I was like, ooh, it's cold. Let me hurry up and throw my jacket on. And I had it on with my leather coat on top of it. So all that insulation and you see what it did to my arm. So I just gave you the example, don't do that, okay? Y'all, I forgot to mention earlier, because I had just got here, been out here for a little minute now, but look, last year when I was here in Daytona, I literally was at about 18,000 subscribers when I was coming down here. And then as I was here, you know, they were growing. And for me to be at uh, 119,000 today, almost at 120, this is simply amazing. I want to say thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Like, as soon as I got here today, I already had some of my subscribers coming up to me. Y'all just don't know how much that makes a girl feel like. I feel appreciated. I appreciate y'all. Like I always say, y'all, I don't have a channel without you guys. So I'm always going to show up for y'all. Y'all know that. So this year, we're going to do bigger and better things. This is the first day that I've made it here. So we have so many days where we can get the fun in, y'all. And I'm ready to begin and have fun. All right, guys, I'm sitting here preparing myself. Nah, I don't have to prepare much. Anyway, I'm getting ready to do the women's panel. Sitting here for a moment, taking a little breather, and then I'm gonna go in and take care of business. So I'll check in with y'all when I get over to the panel. Tip squad, look, y'all know I love it when you guys come up and speak to me. I just finished saying not long ago, I do this for you guys. I don't have a channel without you guys. So look, I appreciate it. Um, that lets me know that you guys are loving what I'm doing. You guys are thoroughly enjoying and watching what I'm doing. So when you guys come up and talk to me, like that just fills my heart completely. Look, I have Miss Karen here. She is awesome. She's from West Palm Beach, guys. She was just coming to me and just telling me how much she enjoyed watching the channel. And she just loved, you know, how I get out and ride. And she adores cameraman. Look, cameraman got some spotlight today. He got to get some pictures taken of himself. And he's not even in front of the camera. Stop stealing my spotlight. But it's definitely a okay. We thank you so much, Karen. Well, I love you. It's thank so you. Nice to meet you. Definitely. And thank you so much. <laughs> Anytime. Okay. Very amazing people. Um, first off, we got Karen Davidson. So Karen Davidson is known for association with Harley Davidson, as she is the great granddaughter of the company's founder, William A. Davidson. She has played a significant role in the Harley-Davidson Motor Company, helping co-found and establish the apparel division. Karen serves as a brand ambassador involved in marketing and brand development. Her commitment to motorcycling in the Harley-Davidson community has made her a uh, prominent figure in, the industry. <laughs> <laughs> figure in the industry. Beyond her professional endeavors, Karen Davidson is recognized for her philanthropic work and support for various charitable causes. Welcome. Aw, thanks. <laughs> nice to be up here with you guys. With some very special people. Thank you. Next up we have Tiffany Renee. So Tiffany Renee on YouTube from Fayetteville, North Carolina. And she has been riding motorcycles for over 11 years. She loves riding and inspiring others to get out and experience the freedom of motorcycling. She also enjoys taking long distance trips with her husband. She is a mother of two beautiful girls 
and she hopes they follow in her cool footsteps to become writers as well. She is a very successful YouTube channel. I'm taking her name. She grew, she grew to 100,000 followers in just one year. That's a huge accomplishment. Accomplishment. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so excited to be here on the stage with you. And this Alexa Schultz. So Alexis Schultz is a motorcycle mechanic for Harley Davidson. With a fam family fully immersed in the motorsport world since the, since the 50s, it was no surprise that she was hooked on two wheels after racing for years. Alexis became more and more interested in wrenching and wanted to be, make a career of it. At 17, she applied to MMI in Orlando and landed a job as a part-time lube mechanic while going to school. After graduating, she worked at a dealership in Texas and went on to work at a little independent shop. She now wrenches at Harley Davidson's Arizona Proving Grounds and the Vehicle Test Lab. They do emissions and performance testing on current and future models. Alexis is passionate and supporting women at wrenching and fighting and hosting moto maintenance workshops right here in Daytona, Florida. Hi. Yay. <laughs> Guys, I just finished doing the panel and look, I got a little nervous, you know, to be sitting beside Karen Davidson, but it was definitely a huge honor to be doing so. Seeing her answering questions and just talking with everyone, meeting some more subscribers. Guys, I love this. Like, I'm enjoying everything I'm doing, guys. On to the next thing. All right, guys, so now I'm getting ready to go check into the hotel because when I got the highway, I came straight here to the speedway to do my women's panel and everything else that I've been running around doing. Like, I'm just having a great time and it's only day one. So I'm finally gonna check into the hotel, get myself settled in, and then from there, look, it's more fun to be had. So that's what we're gonna do to this block. Just checked into the room, y'all. Got a little, you know, comfortable. I gonna took my boots off. It's crock time. Time for me to eat. So I'm gonna get ready to get something to eat. I'm only here for one night and then I'll be going to my Airbnb tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. Last night I had dinner, we went back, took a shower, and we like called it a night. We were tired. I only had a couple of hours of sleep the last couple days, so it was necessary that I fall asleep early. Today is the women's ride, the bike the bells ride. Most of my holiday days, so I'm getting ready to head over to the speedway. That's what we want to get ready to do. Awesome. Girl, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Diana. I'm, I'm gonna say you gave me everybody's name is yours. <laughs> I saw you in the, um, the Harley thing with all the new bikes. Oh and man, yes, yes. It was. Yes. Awesome. It was. You're it the was. Only it, I was. That's awesome. Nice to meet the, you. Nice meeting you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Look, I love that jacket. You know, I have it. There she is. <laughs> there she is. Uh -huh. Thank you. Guys, I hadn't been able to talk much to the camera, talk to you guys, but let me tell you what, I'm having an awesome time, y'all. I got out here, and let me, y'all know I give y'all the time. It's currently 8.47 a.m. out here for the Biker Bells ride. So we're here, y'all see all the wonderful ladies. I'm meeting so many subscribers, so many people I talk to online. I'm getting to finally meet them in person. Like, this is the reason why I show up to these events, because I get out to meet you guys, and I get a little bit more personal everything with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching me, for tuning in to Tiffany Renee. Because y'all know, I'm going to show up, we're going to communicate, we're going to have us a good time. We didn't know the husbands, you know, the spouses and everybody will get the ride and the ride with us ladies today. But guess what? They got a chance to do it too. So, cameraman, I made sure he signed up so he can go along the ride with us as well. Yeah. Oh, Chantel made it too. Say hey, Chantel. Yeah. I made it. Yeah, you made it. She did. Like Y'all know I can't come to Florida and I don't see her. You better not. I'd be, I, I'd be like, oh, what happened? <laughs> Something wrong? Right. What happened? Yeah. See, that's all about women helping women. I love it. <laughs> Thank you 
to Karen and the Kingston family and to Harley and thank you Lauren who really is my best partner in this shenanigans. Yeah. Thank you everyone. I'm also super grateful to be here and super glad the sun is shining for this ride. Thank you for making it on to Karen. Karen, would you like to sing? We gotta get ready to get on our bikes. We're about to mount up, kick sands are up, and we're headed out. When I say this is never planned, it's never planned, but y'all, I have had the amazing opportunity to come up time after time, and for me to meet Miss Wonderful Karen Davison, it's a huge honor. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So I just appreciate her for me to be able to ride alongside of her today. Anything you want to say? I, so. It's an honor for me to meet you. You are amazing. <laughs> I've learned all about you. Well, a, 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 quite a bit. A few <laughs> nuggets about you and like your dynamic, and I love what you do. So. Thank you so yeah. much. Like, okay. uh. Yeah, let's ride, hey? <laughs> <laughs> so we made it, we had a, a, the ride was pretty long. I know we rode through the loop, did it at a slow steady pace. So we're over here at Destination Daytona, um, they're having a bike show. Of course they are doing the raffle tickets. I don't even know where I put mine at, so I lost them. So if they call my number, I want to know. After this, I'm going to walk around out here for a little bit. I definitely got to find me something to eat because I'm hungry. And we're just going to hang out here for a little bit today. Alright guys, so while we're waiting for the bike show to start, I'm gonna walk around for a little bit. Y'all didn't even get my sunglasses. I need to go back to my bike. I need my sunglasses because it's bright out there. But we're gonna walk around, see what I got out here at the destination Daytona. Why everybody's kind of scattered everywhere, so they're going anywhere, whatever way they want to go. Y'all, so I'm walking around out here at the um, Destination Daytona. Of course, you know, it's the typical of what it is like every year. You know, you have vendors out here. You have Teddy Morris, dealer that's open. You can go in here and purchase a bike. This year is a little different because they have a tent set up outside where they have more bikes for you to purchase out there. But while I'm walking around, y'all, I've met some subscribers out here. Very, very cool. Like, I love that. Um, I, Nice talking to Dwight. He just he lives up in Virginia. He was telling me that you know he watched all our videos when we went out to Vegas and you know when we test riding the new 2024 models and we just like made him get that bike and he is talking about how he is so happy and so excited that he got that bike and he is like really enjoying it. Which I mean, who can blame him? I'm telling y'all, if y'all get out and test ride those bikes, like, you might just enjoy it and you might convince yourself even more that that's what you want to do. Shout out to Dwight. Enjoy that bike. Also, you know, I met some more subscribers from Miss Wisconsin as well. Yeah, I'm just meeting people from all over. And it is, it's just, you know, very, very heartwarming for that. But while I, I said I was supposed to get something to eat and I have yet. Yes, sir. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I watch your videos Why don't you burn your arm? Look. Yeah. You look, I told y'all, you know, don't wear your heated gear yeah. unless you put something underneath it. And then I did that, and now see, it's starting to heal up, but there's a blister still there. Yeah. There's there, and there's on that side. It's a pleasure to meet you. It is. Thank it's you. Really what? A pleasure to meet you. Thank you, sir. What's your name? My name's James. James, where are you from? Usually from Minneapolis, but I moved to Florida two years ago in Paris. So, okay. Yep. All so right. I got my friends, I got a bunch of friends from Minnesota, mm -hmm. so we're all up here partying. And Awesome. So it's a really pleasure to meet you. Well, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. Take care. All right. So, y'all, you know, it's just been a lot of that going on. I didn't catch the ones that I on camera earlier, but like I said, shout out to all of them. Thank you. I was saying, yeah, I was supposed to get something to eat. You leaving, Ellie? You leaving? I'm heading out. All right. Well, enjoy. I had fun. Thank, thank you, you again. Good see to ya. see you. Always. Okay. Maybe I'll get it together now. So. As I was saying, I was saying I was going to get something to eat, but I think I'm going to wait because I don't really want to eat anything too heavy out here right now. I just want to grab something to eat. <laughs> grab something. Um, so I think I'm going to just get some water. But it just seemed like water is hard to come by out here. Everybody's sold out. You can't find any. Like, I, I don't know what's going on, but I definitely got to find me some water before I head back over to the pavilion where we parked at after the... Um, Biker Bell's ride. Gotta head back over to the Speedway because I didn't do a whole lot over there yesterday and walk around as much over there as well. Probably check back in with you guys. 
later, not sure. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. So I'm definitely going to check back in. Yes, sir. Good. How are you doing? Very, very good. Awesome. What's your name? I'm Alfonso. Alfonso. Oh, you, oh, so you found your friends here. Look, and this is the guy I was talking to earlier. You can wave at the camera now. Look, I finally got it out. <laughs> you guys having a good time? We having a great time. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Uh, I love the support. Thank you. When you get done, let me get a picture with you. I certainly will. All right, let me put this on pause, guys. Ooh, the wind. I'm not mad though. We're back at the Speedway. They have the um, police demonstrations that's going on at like 2.30. So I want to try to come over here so I can get a chance to see that. Because um, while we was on uh, the women's ride today with the biker bells, um, one of the cops, like he was literally doing like snow maneuvers. Just holding the bike still while we're just in traffic riding. I thought that was cool. But I do want to see the demonstration. So we headed back over here to see it. And um, yeah, and hang out. I've been walking a million miles, running my mouth. Uh, I was supposed to catch the police demonstration that happened at 2.30. It's now 3.12. I walked back down too late. I was running my mouth, but that's okay because they have them like every day at different times. They actually have another one at four. But it's finally time where we can um, check into our Airbnb. So I'm gonna skip out on that so I can get checked in, so I can unload my bike. It's still stuffed with, with all of the stuff. So we'll go do that, check in, and then from there, we'll see what else we get into. There's so much going on. Ooh, I'm rejuvenated a little bit, Tip Squad. So, we got to the room, checked in. I got my boots off. I got me some sneakers on now. I feel a little bit better. It's cooled off. The sun is gone. I am definitely got to get me something to eat now. We're about to eat at the Daytona Tap Room. We heard it was like good. They got some good burgers in there. So, we're about to go in there and eat. And from there, we'll probably hit Bethune. So, I'll check in with y'all when we get inside. The double cheese, double meat, smash burger. It looks so good. So it come with mayo, lettuce, tomato. It has it come with onions, but I got no onions. And I got some truffle fries. I haven't tried it yet, but everybody keeps saying it's good, so I'm ready to try it. Let me try it for y'all on camera. Dang, can I eat all this? I don't know. Let's... Gotta bless your food. Look, I gotta come to this spot. I don't wanna talk with food in my mouth, but y'all gotta come try this out. And I'm gonna shut up right now. That's good. Ooh, I am full. Y'all, that food was so good. Now it's time to head to Bethune. The night is still young. It's 7.36. It's too early to go inside. All right, guys, we made it out here to Bethune. Of course, it's Wednesday, it's early in the week. It's nowhere near what it's gonna be this weekend. Um, but you know, I had to stop through just to see what's going on out here for a Wednesday. Show y'all how it looks during the week. You decide to come early. I'm priming them up for you. What? They ready. They good and ready. Camera ready. They ain't shot off. Yeah, Virginia, North Carolina. Oh, that's at home. North right, Carolina. right. Yeah. Just relaxing, eating. $5 wings and chips. All right, y'all. It's currently 9.46 p.m. That's a little early night. I know, right? But it's Wednesday. So I'm getting ready to head in, get some sleep, be back up early, bright early in the morning. So I can head out. Gotta head my meet and greet tomorrow. I'm excited about it. Can't wait to see all the faces I'm gonna meet tomorrow. But this is what Bethune looks like if you come through on a weekday earlier, Wednesday. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you comment, subscribe if you hadn't already subscribed, y'all. It's day two and more to come. I'll check in with y'all.